You know, the Bay Area, though, really is kind of the incubator of a lot of national trends. If you, if you look at, at what's gone nationally, the open kitchen really originated here. No kidding. Okay. Small plates right. started here. It used to be the center for coffee, which led to Grafeo, right? Which led to Pete's and right. and um, <laughs> you know it's Four so Barrel true. now and yeah. and Blue, Blue Bottle, Bottle right. all of those and chocolates the same. We were the center of chocolate, I think, because of our cool climate. Yep. And now you have a rebirth of all of these artisan chocolatiers, yeah. Cho chocolates, Dandelion right. chocolate, um, bread. I mean, it goes back to, you know, boudin and the sourdough. Yeah. And then you had um, Acme. Thanks to you, I've gone out to Outerland several times just oh, to buy the bread. Isn't that, isn't it amazing? It is just fantastic. Yeah. The whole artisan beer movement with, yeah, um, with what Fritz Maytag did. Right. With Anchor Brewing was the first really to do that. Or look what um, you have a George reason. Roof did with um, Grappa and yeah. those spirits. It's St. George Spirit. Salami. You know, Molinari did the first um, air-dried salami. We're also the home of the, the first Chinese restaurant. Um, Come on. Yeah, no, it was in 1849, I believe. I have a theory of um, why our culture evolved the way it did. And um, people laugh, but I really think it is true. And I was doing research on all the different neighborhoods. And, and if you go back to the gold rush, there were a house of prostitution and a bar on every, every corner. And the way the brothels actually distinguished themselves was through the free lunch. <laughs> they would give the men, you know, the lunch, whoever Everybody had the best proving lunch. there's no free lunch. Right. <laughs> and then, you know, the girls were all the same. You'd go upstairs, but it was a lunch that was important. But, but really what that did is it gave a link between food and carnal pleasure, whereas on the East Coast it was very Purit Puritan. Mm -hmm. And there was a Puritan ethic. Food is fuel. You aren't supposed to enjoy it. People didn't want to pay a lot for it. In San Francisco, it wasn't like that. And I think that whole freedom that was started by the gold rush ha is what, you know, really started the, the beat generation, the hippies, the yeah. gay movement here. And I think if you take it further, I think the tech. I mean, some people say that tech could have happened anywhere, but I don't think it could have. I think it was the ability to be able to think differently. Yeah that really made the Bay Area the center. And well, it all goes back to the brothel. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thesis there somewhere.